Here's a second example of going from a word problem to a relative frequency table and to a table. So first off, there are 145 students enrolled in a fitness class at Cooper High School, 116 boys and 29 girls. 24 of the boys and seven of the girls earned A's for the first semester. So in this problem, I'm talking about boys and girls, whether they got an A or not an A. So when I set this two-way table up, I'm gonna go ahead and label the top boys and girls. And on the side here, I'm gonna say, have an A or not an A as far as the grade goes. So again, from the clue, it says there were 145 students in the class. So my total for all of my rows and columns should be 145. It said there were 116 boys in the class. So here's boys, so a total for that should be 116. And there were 29 girls in the class. So I go to girls. That should be 29. And that should make sense that 29 plus 116 is 145. It also says 24 of the boys received an A. So 24 boys here and 7 girls got an A. So now if I add up this row, I would end up with 31 students that got an A. So to find out this missing number here, I have to figure out 31 plus what is 145. And that's going to be 114. And then if seven girls got an A, that means 22 did not get an A. And the same thing here, if I do 116 minus 24, there's 92 students that did not get an A that were boys. So again, my marginal frequency is there's 116 boys, 29 girls, 31 students in the class got an A, 114 did not get an A, and there's 145 total students. Now again, if I turn this into a relative frequency table, I'm going to still make the same four columns. And I'm going to label this still boys and girls. And then A and no A. So then if, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 24 divided by 116. If I round that, that's about 21%. If I take 92 divided by 116, that would be about 79%. 7 divided by 29 would give me 24%. And then 22 divided by 29 is 76%. So as far as the association, um, whether they're a boy or a girl has a better chance of getting A or not, it's a pretty weak association because these numbers are really close. Um, by just looking at this, it's a weak association. means a girl might have a slight advantage of getting, getting an A over a boy. But again, it's not that significant of a difference. So I would say the association is pretty weak.